This video shows you how to download the free monthly fabrics from the doeq.com website. This is for EQ7 owners running EQ7 on a Windows computer only. When you go to the doeq.com website, you can see an option for downloads. If you hover over downloads, you'll see fabrics of the month. Here is the latest version of the download. This link gives you directions on how to use these fabric downloads, which is what I'm showing you right now. If you want written instructions, just click the links and read the instructions here. All of the downloads are shown in six month increments. You could click on a link and hit save. Click again and choose to save the file. You can see at the top the fabrics are downloading. You want them to completely download, so please be patient. If you're downloading at the beginning of the six months, say in January or in, in July, the fabric download will be a lot smaller, but if you're downloading at the end of the six months, it may take longer to download these files. If you click here in Firefox, it will open a folder called the Downloads folder. This is the location you'll find your fabric downloads. Now you need to create a folder in Documents so you can save all your monthly fabric library files together and tell EQ7 to link to that folder. So I'm going to click Documents, then choose to create a new folder. I'll name it Monthly Libraries. Now that this folder is created, you'll never have to do this step again. You will simply put the downloaded fabric library files in this folder and EQ7 will find the new libraries. So let's go back to the downloads folder and get the fabric library files. I'm going to click on downloads and our files are still there. Select the library files, then choose cut. You could copy the files instead but using the cut tool will actually remove them from the downloads folder so you don't have duplicate library files when you download next month's fabrics. So click cut and you'll see they become a little lighter indicating that they are about to be moved. Now we need to go back to documents and put these files in the monthly libraries folder that we just created. Choose paste. The files are now in this directory and no longer in downloads. Now that they're in the monthly libraries folder, we can go to EQ7 and link to that folder. So in EQ7, you go to Fabric Library and then click Link Library. Choose Add and type in your monthly library's name. Click Browse and browse to that folder that we just created and click OK. You can see that the monthly libraries path is there and it is also here in the libraries tree. Now if you click on that you can see that the fabric libraries linked correctly. I just wanted to show you the different ways Google Chrome and Internet Explorer will download files as well. So here are the options. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome and on the website when I click to download the file, the file actually downloads here at the bottom instead of at the top like Firefox did. In Internet Explorer, it puts this bar at the bottom and it, you choose save and then once it's completed, it'll also display down there. And like I showed you originally, Firefox has a location at the top of the browser.